the security vulnerability has been fixed. Let me verify the email security issue is resolved. I'm still seeing it, but we will deal with that. We can't see the generate lead magnet, generate landing page. We need to fix that and test functionality, and then we can move on to the next bit. But first, we're going to fix the security issue. And the reason why I'm taking some time to fix it now is we don't want to start building stuff on top of an unstable foundation and then have to dig back to fix it. So I'm just letting it do its thing. So it's apparently been fixed. It's now doing a scan. If it succeeds, this should disappear. I met the guy who made this and was telling him how much I like the security scanner. It's a really good tool. It also appears up here in publish. There we go, security scan. Even if something doesn't pop up as a security problem, there can still be security problems. It's just this is a basic scan which has given us some kind of coverage, some kind of confidence that we have secured our application, but there are still ways in. There always are for malicious actors. So we might need to do additional security hardening, especially when we start to charge money later on. But that's fine, we can do that. Unfortunately, vibe coded apps are also a bit of a target. This has happened. I haven't seen it for a while, but a few months ago, I remember somebody posted that they'd vibe coded an app and it was doing a certain amount of money and they're doing really well and vibe coding to future and software engineers are screwed and they're not going to have any jobs <laughs> within a few months. And he was being a bit of an ass about it. Very quickly, people hacked into his app immediately. So yeah, don't piss people off. If you're going to vibe code, do it quietly. <laughs> I think generally it's a good idea not to tell people that their skill set is now useless. That is, you're not going to be popular doing that. 